Hey guys, how is it going? Jackadunga here, and we do have a UKWA uh, episode to bring to you. It's been quite a while, uh, but we're going to bring this potluck which happened yesterday against Siana. Siana, not exactly sure how to say it, but a pretty big healthy margin on the victory for crunch time, 84 to 78. Uh, we'll shout out crunch time who are looking for Town Hall 9s majoritively uh, to come and join us. Maybe if you've got a bit of CWL experience and you want to try and uh, push for CWL Apex, which is the one we're going to be trying for anyway. Yeah, come around to us, link in the description. Uh, I'll try and be as jolly as possible, but I am hungover, so we'll have to try and continue uh, with that uh, over my shoulders. But uh, 84 to 78, as I did say, uh, you can see uh, we dipped perfectly. There were quite a few 11 v 11 attempts. Uh, we've got a shout out here, though, who did pick up an 11 v 11, a fresh 11 v 11 on Ollie. Uh, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, what other people do any other one any other people six pack uh, that's a dipping six pack so we won't count that one uh, we have uh, Jesus picking up a six pack nicely done to him uh, we have me of course an awesome player we already know that <laughs> uh, Angel there picking up a six pack as well and that is it so 99 was a bit uh, hard for both sides actually uh, we sit in, sat about, I think we were just below 50%, so quite a rough one uh, for us. We don't usually do uh, too badly at that. You know, Sienna, I think, had a similar hit rate. Maybe it was a bit higher, I think low 50s for them. Uh, but it was the 10v10 game separating the two clans. Uh, we did pick up three. They picked up none, so that was very helpful. But uh, Tier, uh, Tier uh, who has actually come back to CT, uh, which is nice to see, uh, is just going to go with a very strategic uh, boulder smash. <laughs> uh, he's dropped everything already. Uh, wow, yeah, he has literally dropped everything already. Uh, he's got nothing to do but press the king and queen ability. Uh, but you'll just see, everything just really continues through this base and smashes everything. Uh, you can really, uh, anti-twos nowadays, I mean, they are just, uh, uh, you're just, 11v11s are a lot easier on anti-twos now, so you will be seeing uh, lots of 11v11 attempts, especially uh, in these sort of wars. Uh, but you can see, the, the bowler, he threw one bowl, and if that, I think it would have been over if that had not hit the Eagle Artillery, uh, because now he does not have to worry about that. And he's just got the Queen, uh, quite a few Witches and Bowlers going around this right-hand side. And of course, he's still got that Queen ability, uh, which is going to be very helpful. Still got a bit of Skeleton tanking. Uh, we'll speed it up a little bit, but the Queen's just going to chomp through all of this. Uh, the Bowlers on the right-hand side are going to cause a nice distraction as well. The only problem really is that Expo uh, sitting there, which is actually firing at the Queen Knight now. But he hits the uh, Queen ability nice and early, and then takes out the cannon, takes out the Arch Tower, and only have a Tesla remaining. And 11v11 from Tier, uh, nicely done to him, and uh, happy returns. Now let's go on to the 10v10s. We have three, as I did say before. Uh, we'll start off with number 11 on Consin. Trait. Oh, I get it now. Concentrate. Uh, we got France. Uh, I don't know, actually know who hit uh, this war. I, I was in it. And I, I didn't really notice. Um, I don't know who this This could be. Uh, uh, I won't try and guess, but it's going to be a uh, shattered go ho coming in here with the two golems. You've got a baby dragon funneling on this right hand side. They're yeah, going to drop a test wall breaker and then the rest. Wow, that was pretty close actually. Nearly got the wall break fail there. Uh, got a grounded expo there but he's still going to come in and get a really nice bit of value the funnel is perfect actually and they go straight up through the compartment here uh, that giant goes towards the tesla uh, but it's a soft cc which is going to cause a, uh, a decent amount of distraction uh, with the skeleton spell which is actually distracting for that single target inferno tower uh, but a few hogs hopping over the wall now uh, that single target just melted that golem uh, which is a bit unfortunate, but he is coming slowly up towards that queen uh, king. In fact, he hits that ability early because he wants to chase after that king. Of course, he doesn't have a poison left up, uh, so that could have been a problem there. But unfortunately, the queen is going to fall here. Has a lot of point defense on her, but the bowler and the archers uh, cause a tiny bit of a distraction as they come up towards this three o'clock side. Got a bomb tower still left up, but. He's still got another heal left, uh, which he is saving for that final section. This is going to be a smash and a half. Uh, he's got a skeleton trap following rounds, but of course that heal is going to do bits uh, for those hogs. One mortar left up. He's got those cleanup wizards down already nice and early uh, to clean up those storages. The king is uh, 
going for a bit of a walk. They've got one hog, uh, which is actually going to try and take it down. Uh, but the rest of the hogs are actually going to circle around the base and ignore the king, which is uh, helpful indeed. Uh, a few of them are actually going to get caught up here. Uh, he will end with maybe six hogs, uh, but still a triple. Nicely done. Right, next up we have... Angel, I know for certain that this is Angel coming in with the mass hog going to take full advantage of the single target and look at this, uh, look at that wall breaker, look at that trigger with that giant bomb, uh, nice start to the raid and then obviously uses that boulder to take down the mortar hiding in that compartment there. Uh, but the king here, uh, going to sort of follow around here, you see that baby 32 king is just uh, hanging out there, uh, he's going to use a wizard also to back up the king, uh, he will take a... A uh, bit of time getting through these trash buildings, but he will drop the queen shortly. Yep, there we go. And he's going to suicide them into this compartment here. Got the wall breakers perfectly. Uh, got a king still coming in here. Might actually hit the enemy king over the wall. Uh, no, he's going to break through the wall. But then he is going to take him out shortly. But here comes that skeleton spell doing a nice bit of distraction as the queen takes out this expo, uh, that enemy queen, and then... Quite, doesn't quite take out that uh, uh, the bomb tower, which is a bit of a shame. But he's going to start the hogs off quickly. Uh, the queen's going to follow around the base because uh, uh, she just wants to do what she wants to do. Uh, <laughs> she's trying to chase after him. Uh, but here comes the rest of the hogs, deploying quite a few here. That single target, not going to do too much. He doesn't have any poison because, uh, of course, he did use that skeleton spell. He's going to have about eight skeletons chasing his hogs around the base. Uh, but that heal spell is perfectly placed, actually, to encompass all of those hogs. He's going to deploy another one here, coming into this second single target inferno. Another ground skeleton trap is popping up here. Uh, but he's still got another heal, uh, which he is going to save for that bomb tower at the end, I believe. Uh, giant bomb comes up, a spring trap comes up. Uh, is he going to... Oh, he might swag it, actually. Is he going to swag it? No, he's not going to swag it. He's going to put it on the bomb tower, uh, which is probably a good idea, uh, because those hogs could get wrecked. Uh, but look how many hogs he has left up. I'd say about 20, uh, so maybe even more than that, 25, 30. Uh, so that is really nicely done to Angel. Uh, nicely done, indeed. Right, we have the last 10v10 to show you, uh, just over the page, just push and fun. Uh, we've got Titch coming in here. Uh, this is a bit of a lower tier base, more hogs coming in. Uh, a bit of a hog 10v10 theme here. Uh, this is going to be a CB hog though. We've got a different hog variation every time, uh, which is always nice. Going to back up with Wizards, got two bowlers coming in here uh, to destroy all of that. Going to have the Queen come in here. Uh, with there's going to be another sort of suicide entry with the golem tanking because that golem's going to fall ever so shortly here. Uh, got the king following in here. The funnel is definitely good enough. That mortar being taken out again as well as the soft CC comes out now. That was probably a bad decision uh, putting that soft CC up because uh, this is going to get absolutely wrecked. You see them all coming in here. He's going to uh, actually not drop the heel on the bowlers. Yeah, despite that multi-target inferno uh, causing a bit of problems. But the king and the queen are both going to go down here. 38 and 32 this time. Uh, so a bit lower level again. Uh, but the queen going to hop over the wall. Uh, take her out with the ability. And then hogs are just going to rampage through this base again. Uh, common theme here. Rampaging hogs all the way. Uh, got the level 1 skeleton spell. Which is of course going to be pivotal uh, to victory in this one. He's got a giant bomb uh, coming off here. He's got the other giant bomb here as well. Uh, which is going to be negated with this heal spell which has been dropped and as this comes through to the inferno tower got a tesla here comes and drops the skeleton spell here uh, distracting this expo very nicely of course the expo can be a bit of a pain in the ass uh, when it comes to those final hogs but uh, the skeleton spell runs out pretty quickly uh, gonna come in here drops that heal spell uh, going to take that out drop to the expo uh, air defense cannon arch tower and tesla got plenty of cleanup spells as well the last 10v10 a very big success here uh, for Titch nicely done to her right uh, just about wow well, actually triggers uh, two giant bombs look at them they weren't very well placed then the hogs didn't even trip them up till the end uh, we're gonna have one 9v9 and I thought we'd uh, choose Burby's 9v9 uh, despite him not picking up a six pack but uh, he got, uh, I don't see too much of this now, it's a Sui Lalo but with the double poison on the CC, 
because uh, this takes quite a bit of skill. I can never do this myself, so I was pretty impressed. Uh, we'll have a look here. He's got uh, the wizards coming down here uh, to start off. Look at that. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that. A, a maxed a maxed base, but with a uh, with not maxed gold storages. I don't exactly know how he bought all those upgrades without the maxed storages. Uh, interesting. Uh, but has the uh, has the loom take out the troll test? So this was a uh, second hit. He didn't know where everything was. Uh, but still opted for the Sui Lalo. Um, here comes, yep, yeah, there she goes down. The king and the queen are going to be dropped behind. It's going to be another entry. Uh, I think the queen, yeah, the king and the queen are going to try and go in there, but the king's going to go, uh, uh, and the queen are going to follow each other for a bit, but the queen will head to the right as he hits that ability early. And the queen takes out the double cannon. Uh, the king will hit his ability soon. Yeah, there we go. Hits it early. And the queen will head in there and take out that air defense. And the cannon... Uh, here comes the Lalo. It's going to come from uh, this uh, wizard tower farm here, which is uh, not a good idea, as that's going to be pretty much smashed very quickly. Uh, has the CC Lava Hound go down first, and he's going to have the next Lava Hound come in here. A baby tw level 20 uh, queen sitting there, and the double poison will be deployed. Actually going to encompass the queen as well, uh, but it's going to be very patient. You can't deploy them quickly. Uh, you have to deploy them very slowly because otherwise that's going to be a bit of a problem. We've got the skeleton spell coming down. Uh, actually, those Tessas are going to cause a bit of a uh, problem with that skeleton spell. And actually, the queen's going to hop over the wall here. Yeah, but he's saving that last poison spell. Uh, the baby dragon going to be taken down, actually. Uh, but he's got one poison spell, which he's just dropped on the queen as well because he's got lots of loons left. Uh, but that queen, of course, still being alive, is going to melt through those loons. Uh, without that poison spell being there, but they will finally keep up and uh, actually uh, go towards that queen. I'm going to take her down, uh, but for that he's going to earn himself a triple on this uh, baby town on night with the max defenses. Uh, nicely done to Burby on Lucario. And right, that is all for Crunch Time today. I hope you did enjoy the video. Of course, if you want to join Crunch Time, we're looking for good players for the Apex League. Come on over. I'm sure we'd be happy to accommodate you. Uh, but that is all for now. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more similar content. And I do hope to see you in another Crunch Time video. Thank you very much for watching, guys.